Hey guys, how are you? So why is development coding perceived as something very hard to do by so many people out there in the world? There are a few reasons for it. Number one, the barrier to entry is pretty high for a lot of people. When you are coding, it's very abstract and very different from most other things that you do in life. And so for a lot of people, this initial wall that you're going to hit when you're trying to learn just the basic constructs of coding, variables, functions, memory management, all this kind of stuff, it keeps a lot of people out. The second reason why coding is considered by many to be difficult to do is because it's pretty intense when you get into it at a high level. Software development, it is not a job that you can do casually. When you're writing code, especially when you're getting into the guts of the system, it's very intense work. That's why I recommend when you're a professional developer that you do the intense work, the debugging and architecture and all this kind of stuff. Spend maybe three to four hours a day on that. Now, other days you could do a bit more, but typically your peak performance will be about three to four hours a day. And then you can do light work, like documentation, stuff like that. But it is intense work, especially relative to so many other professions out there that intellectually, they're really simple. What they have to contend with in terms of intellectual focus, um, it's not nothing compared to what a developer has to do. Because when you're developing systems, especially complex web apps and so on, you, you have to contend with all kinds of disparate variables in the uh, in the makeup of an app that you're building. What kind of network are we on? What kind of browsers people are using? Uh, is there going to be performance issues here? What's the future of this app? Do we have to consider certain functionality that may come into play? How is this architecture? Is it flexible enough to allow for changes to the basic use case of the system, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? So there's a lot of variables, a lot of things to consider. And so it takes a lot. It takes a lot to develop that skill. Once you get your head wrapped around it, it starts to become a little bit easier, a little bit easier over time. And all this complexity has a silver lining. And that silver lining is it's very valuable work. The worst place to be is in a profession that is perceived as fun or is low rent, meaning there's no barriers to entry. One of the things I noticed as a freelancer when I was freelancing back in the day is that typically people value visual work less than they value backend nuts and bolt coding. Even though coming up with a great looking user interface and creating great user experience, very important skill, hard to find people are good at this. But because it is visual, there's this erroneous perception that it's easy. So unless you're really top flight and working with educated clients or employers, these people are discounted, I find, relative to full stack developers. People are doing the back end, designing databases, designing architectures. These days, as I tell a lot of people, going off a little bit of a tangent, what separates success successful apps from not so successful apps, besides the, the basic point of the app, the use case itself, if you develop a piece of software that uh, tracks how fast trees grow, you're probably not going to make money on that. But if you can develop the next great dating app or the next great financial services app that provides some sort of functionality everybody wants, that's huge. And the other thing is, of course, is usability and the aesthetics of what you're presenting. It has to look good has to be easy to use. Typically speaking, and this goes outside of code, anything that's perceived as easy or fun or of a barrier to entry is not so high, it's devalued. It's devalued. So that's the double-edged sword of learning to be a coder. The double-edged sword is that, yes, there is a barrier to entry initially, which is, you can get over it, don't worry. But that initial barrier to entry keeps out a lot of people creates a perception of value. And so that's why you got all these high salaries that are persistent in the development world relative to so many other professions, given the amount of time you could spend. Now, when I say given the amount of time you can spend, I'm talking about the amount of time it takes to get your foot in the door as a junior developer. 
the key to being a coder is you learn your fundamentals so that you can just get enough skill and understanding so you can start coding professionally. You really learn the game. You really learn the skill on the job building things. You don't want to make that mistake of getting caught in what people call tutorial hell. It's like being a perma-academic who doesn't actually get out there in the real world and you don't do your thing. You have to get into the ring. I like to use the boxing analogy. I use the box. You have to get in the ring. You have to start building things. You start with simple things. You start building up from there. So many people hide in tutorials. So, pe so many people hide in academics because, let's face it, they don't want to go out there and make that leap and actually build real projects. It's such an important part of this whole thing. Anyway, those are the two reasons why I think coding is perceived as hard. A, that barrier to entry is pretty steep for a lot of people. Not for everybody, but I would say for most people. People on the spectrum tend to have an easier time getting into it because of the way their brains are. And number two is because it is intense work. It can be intense work. Uh, it's hard to slack off as a competent developer because you got to write code and your code works or it doesn't work or the code is clean or it's not clean. You got to figure out problems. You got to be very focused. You can't be watching episodes of Family Guy on the side while coding. Although there's so many other professions where you can be listening to podcasts. You can be, you know, you can be doing two different things at the same time and you're fine. Again, I'm not... Uh, disparaging other professions, but it's just the reality of the situation. Development is extremely intense work um, intellectually, but it can be super rewarding as well.